So some statistics for you about how significant Zeus is. We've seen at the start of the year that an ad server was compromised that affected Yahoo users. 27,000 infections per hour. Zeus is kind of a big deal. You know, Zeus is, is interesting, uh, you know, in the, uh, and it's also a big risk for businesses and the, uh, the threat that it has the ability actually, in many cases, not just to steal tr credentials, but also to tra directly transfer money out of bank accounts. Uh, once a user clicks an attachment or opens up the CryptoLocker malware, um, the, the malware scans all network drives and local drives and encrypts documents using uh, RSA level encryption. 2048 bit encryption, very difficult to break and demands a ransom of approximately 300 euros um, or all data will be deleted within 72 hours. So very significant threats to organizations. So let's take a look at the threat lifecycle as used by Zeus Game Over. So traditionally we'd see a law, that's uh, stage two. An email is sent to you as an end user. It might be an invoice, it might be a trade confirmation, something that's appealing to you and the malware authors want to get their payload in front of you. Now sometimes with the threat lifecycle we see that the malware authors will redirect you around the web and that's not the case for Zeus Game Over. Instead they want to get that payload straight away in front of you. You know this malware uh, is unique in a couple different aspects. Uh, one would be the fact that uh, it, how it communicates is computer to computer or peer to peer. Uh, depending on your terminology, uh, which makes it much harder uh, for the security community to stop it as there is no centralized infrastructure to, uh, uh, to take down. Now, unfortunately, the malware authors realize that they can bypass traditional security solutions by using certain tricks within that payload. For example, stealth registry settings. So the malware authors have programmed the payload, the file, to actually remove the registry settings before shutdown and then upon boot up of the machine, they would add the registry settings back in. Some traditional security solutions are looking for those persistent registry settings, but that's just not the case with Zeus Game Over, therefore they're more likely to get past that particular uh, check. Uh, one thing we've been very successful at is actually detecting and blocking uh, this malware from ever being installed. Um, when this malware is never installed, uh, it is impossible for, uh, for Game Over or other financial, more sophisticated malware to be installed. If you've got the suitably advanced security solutions on offer, you can be rest assured that you can be protected from Zeus and all of those other variants. Uh, we've been most successful at stopping that actually through uh, the use of email security. So recommendations for organizations that uh, seek to protect themselves against CryptoLocker, against Game Over and other variants, I would suggest looking uh, not just at web security products, but also email security, as email is typically the vector that is used to install this malware.